I sense a soul in search of answers. The hand, the heart, and the mind can perform miracles when they are in perfect harmony. The healer Pepin sees into the body in a way that even I cannot. His ability to restore the sick and injured is magnified by his understanding of the creation of elixirs and potions. He is as great an ally as you have in Tristram. My friend, stay a while and listen. Ogden has owned and run the Rising Sun Inn and Tavern for almost four years now. He purchased it just a few short months before everything here went to hell. He and his wife Garda do not have the money to leave as they invested all they had in making a life for themselves here. He is a good man with a deep sense of responsibility. Well, what can I do for you? Your weapons and armor will show the signs of your struggles against the darkness. If you bring them to me, with a bit of work and a hot forge, I can restore them to top fighting form. Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Thank goodness you... Well, what can I do for you? Can't a fellow drink in peace? <laughs> I like Pepper. He really tries, you know. Listen here. You should make sure you get to know him. A good fellow like that with people always wanting help. Hey, I guess I'd be kind of like you, a uh, hero. I was a hero, too. What ails you, my friend? Cain is a true friend and a wise sage. He maintains a vast library and has an innate ability to discern the true nature of many things. If you ever have any questions, he is the person to go to. Good day. How may I serve you? Cain has been the storyteller of Tristram for as long as I can remember. He knows so much and can tell you just about anything. About almost everything. Old Pepin is as good as they come. If I'd have had some of those potions he brews, uh, I might still have my leg.
I sense a soul in search of answers. What ails you, my friend? Well, what can I do for you? It's a cow, all right. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. My friend, stay a while and listen. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh, 
my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? I'm glad I... What ails you, my friend? Please, you must hurry. Every hour that passes brings us closer to having no water to drink. We cannot survive for long without your help. Ogden's barmaid is a sweet girl. Her grandmother is quite ill and suffers from delusions. She claims that they are visions, but I have no proof of that one way or the other. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and let me... I don't know what I can really tell you about this that will be of any help. The water that fills our wells comes from an underground spring. I have heard of a tunnel that leads to a great lake. Perhaps they are one and the same. Unfortunately, I do not know what would cause our water supply to be tainted. Oh, my friend, the story of Wirt is a frightening and tragic one. He was taken from the arms of his mother and dragged into the labyrinth by the small, foul demons that wield wicked spears. There were many other children taken that day, including the son of King Leoric. The knights of the palace went below, but never returned. The blacksmith found the boy but only after the foul beasts had begun to torture him for their sadistic pleasures. The sto- Can a fellow drink in peace? <laughs> Do you drink water? Drink water? Well, what can I do for you? Well, I have to practically smuggle in the metals and tools I need from caravans that skirt the edges of our damned town. That witch Adria always seems to get whatever she needs. If I knew even the smallest bit about how to harness magic as she did, I could make some truly incredible things. Pippin has told you the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. I don't have a spell ready. Can't a fellow drink and keep- No one ever listen, <laughs> listens to me. Somewhere, I ain't too sure, but somewhere out of the church, the whole pile of gold, green, shine, just waiting for someone to get it. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish.
Well, what can I do for you? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Many adventurers have graced the tables of my tavern, and ten times as many stories have been told over as much ale. The only thing that I ever heard any of them agree on was this old axiom. Perhaps it will help you. You can cut the flesh, but you must crush the bone. I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar, but with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please, do what you can, or I don't know what we will do. Good day! Hop Farnham is a drunkard who fills his belly with ale and everyone else's ears with nonsense. I know that both Pepin and Ogden feel sympathy for him, but I get so frustrated watching him slip farther and farther into a befuddled stupor every night. My grandmother is very weak, and Garda says that we cannot drink the water from the wells. Please, can you do something to help us? Smith, my wife. What there is of it. Sure, Griswold offered me an apprenticeship at the smithy. Uh, he's a nice enough guy, but I'll never get enough money to... Well, let's just say that I have definite plans that require a large amount of gold. For once, I'm with you. My business runs dry, so to speak, and I have no market to sell to. You better find out what is going on, and soon. I sense a soul in search of answer, though the heat of the sun is beyond measure. The mere flame of a candle is of greater danger. No energies, no matter how great, can be used without the proper focus. For many spells, ensorcelled staves may be charged with magical energies many times over. I have the ability to restore their power, but know that nothing is done without a price. The people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this, demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned.
I sense a soul in search of answers. do for you. Oh, Gillian is a nice lass. Shame that her gamma is in such poor health, or I would arrange to get both of them out of here on one of the train caravans. My friend, I know of many myths and legends that may contain answers to questions that may arise in your journeys into the labyrinth. If you come across challenges and questions to which you seek knowledge, seek me out and I will tell you what I can. And a fellow drinking peace? I want to tell you something, because I know all about this stuff. It's my specialty. This here is the best. The best. That other ale ain't no good since so stupid dogs. What ails you, my friend? While I use some limited forms of magic to create the potions and elixirs I store here, Adria is a true sorceress. She never seems to sleep, and she always has access to many mystic tomes and artifacts. I believe her hut may be much more than the hovel it appears to be, but I can never seem to get inside the place. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Adria is wise beyond her years, but I must admit, she frightens me a little. Well, no matter. If you ever have need to trade in items of sorcery, she maintains a strangely well-stocked type just across the river. Good day! How may- I grew up with Wirt's mother, Tanis. Although she was only slightly hurt when those hideous creatures stole him, she never recovered. I think she died of a broken heart. Wirt has become a mean-spirited youngster, looking only to profit from the sweat of others. I know that he suffered, and has seen horrors that I cannot even imagine. But some of that darkness hangs over him still. is a fool for staying here. I could get him out of town for a very reasonable price, but he insists on trying to make a go of it with that stupid tavern. I guess at the least he gives Jillian a place to work, and his wife Garda does make a superb shepherd's pie.
I sense a soul in search of answers. To a man who only knows iron, there is no greater magic than steel. The blacksmith Griswold is more of a sorcerer than he knows. His ability to meld fire and metal is unequaled in this land. <laughs> 